Hi, I'm going to talk to you today about tympanic membrane perforation or eardrum perforation referred to as a hole in the eardrum. Um, these holes can be of many different sizes and the cause of the hole in the eardrum is sometimes unknown. Sometimes it's a known cause like a Q-tip trauma or an ear infection where there was a middle ear infection that burst the eardrum open or ruptured the eardrum and it just didn't heal. Occasionally other types of trauma can cause eardrum perforation such as surfing or water skiing. If you hit the water at just the right angle it can rupture the eardrum. Usually the traumatic perforations will heal on their own or sometimes with a little help from the doctors. But if they don't heal, um, then it can require surgery. So typically if I see a patient that has a new hole in their eardrum, what I'll do in the office is um, put a patch of a very thin paper over that to facilitate healing. It acts as a scaffold to help the cells migrate across the hole and heal that hole. That works some of the time um, for perforations that are less than 30% of the surface area of the eardrum. But if they're larger than that, then usually they're not going to heal on their own and they may require surgery. So the surgery to repair an eardrum perforation is through the ear canal or behind the ear, depending on the size of the perforation and depending on the health of the surrounding eardrum. If it's due to chronic infections in the ear, sometimes the health of the surrounding eardrum is such that there's scar tissue and poor blood supply to the eardrum. And in that case, we'll go behind the ear, we'll get a graft of fascia, um, which is a connective tissue that we can find under the skin behind the ear. And it's a thin but very strong layer of connective tissue that we can use to rebuild the eardrum. So we'll rebuild the entire eardrum in cases where there's extensive scar tissue and poor blood supply in the ear. But if it, the remaining eardrum looks healthy and has a good blood supply, then we'll usually do the surgery through the ear canal. And my preference for doing that is using a um, graft of tissue from this part of the ear called the tragus. And I make the incision on the back side of the tragus so that you don't see any scars on, from the front. And then I get the connective tissue overlying the cartilage here, it's called perichondrium. And we can get quite a large piece of that tissue to repair basically any size hole in the eardrum through the ear canal by making an incision in the skin of the ear canal and lifting up the skin along with the eardrum. And then we pack the middle ear space with a, an absorbable packing that is soaked in an antibiotic solution to prevent infection. And that acts as a, um, a support for the graft against the eardrum. So the graft goes underneath and we basically rim the perforation to freshen up the edges to promote healing and then put the graft underneath the packing underneath that to support it and then we pack the ear canal as well to support the graft from both sides like a sandwich and that packing dissolves on its own it takes about six weeks maybe up to two months for it to dissolve um, but we'll typically remove it in the clinic at about four to six weeks depending on how fast the ear heals and uh, how big the perforation was to begin with. Thank you.